Did we just reach peak AI hype? Jake Paul invests in Cognition Labs, the makers of Devon. The rapper Meek Mill also is throwing his hat in the ring, saying he's working on an AI tool that can change the world, LOL. People are saying that A16Z is interested in investing in whatever he's making. I can't confirm that. But they have been reaching out to a lot more influencers in, in various spaces like Twitch streamers, etc. And uh, trying to work some sort of deals out with them. So I would not be surprised. Meanwhile, Chinese robotics firm Unitree is hiding a 7 billion IPO valuation. I got a chance to see one of these at the AI4 convention I went to. They are pretty cool. I was trying to figure out because it was obviously being tele operated from somewhere. It was like walking around giving people high fives and stuff like that. And it sounds like it also had some re-scripted moves like the roundhouse kick. You know, I'm sure it's a push of a button. It does the roundhouse kick. I'm assuming, but these things are pretty impressive. And Unitree is currently one of the leading companies in the robotics space. China's throwing tons of money on it. They plan to be the world leader in producing robots. So definitely an interesting company to potentially invest in, but they're going to be IPOing in Q4 this year. So we'll see how that goes. If you're in the US and wondering if you can invest in this IPO, it sounds like they're going to be listing it on the Chinese stock exchange, but also doing a Hong Kong IPO. So it sounds like there will be ways to invest, but it sounds like it's not quite as straightforward because it seems like you're dealing with secondary markets or potentially there might be some mutual funds that will take this on as part of their portfolio. So I don't really know too much about this, but still interesting that we're seeing robotic companies show up on the stock market exchange this year. I mean, technically Tesla got accounted as one of them, but it looks like we're going to be seeing a lot more. By the way, the robot dog accounts for 65% of their revenue and it's 70% of the global market, by the way. Now, this was, I think, started by Boston Dynamics here in the States. I think a lot of the technology, at least I first saw it from Boston Dynamics, that walking robot that sparked so many YouTube videos when it launched. Seems that now 70% of the share of the global market for those robot dogs is controlled by Unitree. In other news, OpenAI is getting into the film making business. OpenAI comes for Hollywood with Critters, an AI-powered animated film. OpenAI hopes Critters will convince wary film execs to embrace AI with its low budget and accelerated production schedule. Now, OpenAI and Sam Alden, they have been working in the background to meet with some of the Hollywood executives to try to work with them to see how they can get Sora or whatever other AI technology into film production. And it seems like the goal behind this film is to make it quickly and to make it cheaply to show Hollywood executives that AI is the real deal. So Critters is reportedly made on a budget of less than 30 million in just nine months, fractions of what is normally required for animated features. Now, there might be some backlash to this. There's a lot of people in the artist community that are not fans of AIs being used to create art and films and writing screenplays, etc. Elon Musk comments saying it's achievable, right? So commenting on the fact that it's going to take nine months and $30 million to produce this film. Be saying, but the actual budget is more like 30 billion in a compute, laughing his A off. So that's an interesting point to consider that it's very likely that the compute costs are not going to be included in this. Now, is it going to be 30 billion? Probably not. But at the end, it would be interesting to see what role compute cost plays in the production of these movies. Certainly, the more you spend in computes, the better they're going to look. So there must be some trade off there that still makes sense while making the graphics and everything else look good. When asked when will we have 30 minute episodes by grok imagine he's saying four to six months and this jumped out at me i had to give it a big old like because he said also had a good conversation with makers of eve online we discussed the possibility of collaborating on an ai game something that only ai could do now eve online was an excellent excellent game absolutely just the scale of it is is amazing 
they captured so many great things. Now, unfortunately, it gets too complex. Some people refer to it as spreadsheets in space. And I mean, you can kind of see why, you know, this is what it might look like during a larger battle. So it's one of those games where recreating it with modern graphics, with maybe some more intuitive interfaces, etc., would be incredible. So I'm not sure if they're doing something like that. But the idea of doing something only an AI can do, a, a video game that only an AI could do, is very interesting. Elon did talk about launching under the XAI umbrella some sort of a video development company, right? So to make games using AI. So maybe teaming up with the makers of EVE Online is part of that. Either way, I'm extremely, extremely excited. Meanwhile, again, Jake Paul invests in Cognition Labs, saying the future that Cognition will unlock is unfathomable unfathomable, and it will be known as one of the most important AI and reasoning labs in the world. This company will unlock monumental human achievement. Cognition recently announced that they've raised over 40 million at a 10.2 billion post money valuation to advance the frontier of AI coding agents. So what do you think? Is this a peak AI hype as everybody's piling in to invest or is the train going to keep on rolling? There was a recently an episode of Tim Ferriss and Kevin Rose Kevin Rose is an investor in the space, in the, in the tech space, knows a lot of people, and he was cautioning, as far as I can tell, Tim Ferriss from investing in AI-related technologies right now, at least from that kind of venture capital perspective, saying that maybe things have been heating up a little bit too much. What are the cases, whether it's a bubble and things are overvalued or undervalued? Again, I don't care. AI progress is continuing. Our perceptions of it, our emotions can be going up and down. People's ability to invest in the stuff can be going up and down. It doesn't really matter. It does seem like AI is progressing. Things are moving forward. LLMs are getting better. Robots are getting better. Is AI progress slowing down? It doesn't look like it. But uh, let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is a bubble? Do you think that means that AI progress is stalled or it's just the amount of money that people are willing to throw at is, is what's at a max? And what do you think about EVE Online or something like it to being a recreated with AI? Let me know in the comments. My name is Wes Roth. If you made this far, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.